Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how I made Okita J Soji's Jet Chocolate Yokan from the popular Fake Grand Order mobile game. I was inspired to make it after seeing the Fake Grand Order Twitter account post an official recipe on how to make it. I did try to follow the official recipe, but it did not come out the way I expected, which I'll show you at the end of the video. So with what I learned from making the official recipe and some research, I made my own recipe. The ingredients are 220 grams of smooth red bean paste, 80 grams of chocolate, 60 grams of powdered gelatin, 30 grams of sugar, 1 tablespoon of milk, 600 milliliters of water, food coloring that consists of blue, red, and yellow, and lastly, clear sprinkles. In a saucepan, add 200 milliliters of water. It's helpful to have this kind of measuring cup so I can see from inside and outside how much water I'm putting in. Add 20 grams of gelatin. Add 15 grams of sugar. Mix thoroughly. Put the pan on a stove top, turn stove on to medium heat, and stir to melt the gelatin and sugar together. Just before boiling, which you can feel as well as seeing little bubbles forming inside the pan, turn off the stove top and remove the pan. Split the mixture in half into two bowls to save for later. I'll make the yokan next. Clean the saucepan first, then add 200 milliliters of water to it. Add 20 grams of gelatin. Mix the gelatin in the water. Put the pan on a stove top, turn stove on to medium heat, and stir to melt the gelatin. Just before boiling, turn off the stove top and remove the pan. Add the chocolate into the pan. Using the residual heat, mix until the chocolate is melted and smooth. Add the red bean paste to the pan, then mix until melted, thickened, and smooth. If you're thinking about making yokan frequently, you should buy a yokan pan like this to get smooth edges and to not waste yokan when cutting it into smaller pieces. If you're not making yokan regularly like myself, you can do what I did instead. Line a container with saran wrap. This container is 5.5 inches long, 4 inches wide, and 2 inches tall. It's big enough to make 4 yokan. Pour half the chocolate mix slowly into the container and as low as possible to prevent air bubbles from forming. To double check for no air bubbles when you're done, hit the container on the table a couple of times to bring up possible air bubbles. Put the container uncovered in the freezer on a flat surface for 10 minutes. While we wait for the yokan to solidify, we'll make the middle yellow layer of it next. Add milk to one of the bowls of gelatin mix we made earlier. Mix until it's a cloudy white. Separate two spoonfuls of the milk mixture to another container for later use. Add one drop of yellow food color to the milk bowl. Mix thoroughly. Remove the yokan container from the freezer after 10 minutes. You can double check if it has solidified by gently poking at it and if it has, it will bounce back to shape. Add a thin layer of the yellow mixture into the yokan container, about 3 16th an inch or 0.4 centimeters. As you may have noticed, my yokan is no longer smooth. I did not put the container on a flat surface so it had a slight slope to it when I took it out of the freezer. This is why it's important to put it on a flat surface in the freezer. To fix this, I put it in the microwave for about 8 seconds to melt a little, smooth it the best I could, then put it back in the freezer to solidify for 10 minutes. Put the container back in the freezer uncovered for 10 minutes after you're done adding the yellow layer. Take the container out of the freezer and add the remaining half of the chocolate mix into the container. Again, do it low and slowly to avoid getting air bubbles in the yokan. Put the container back in the freezer uncovered for 10 minutes after you're done. Take the yokan container out after 10 minutes. Tilt the container lengthwise away from you at a slight angle. Taking the milk mix we had separated earlier, spoon it lengthwise to cover a little less than one third of the container on the opposite side of you. 
The cold yolk column will help to quickly solidify the milk gelatin to prevent it from spraying too much, but you can use your spoon to stop it too. After you're done, put it in the freezer uncovered for 10 minutes. Next, I'll be making the top gelatin layers of the yokan. In the saucepan, add 200 milliliters of water. Add 20 grams of gelatin. Add 15 grams of sugar. Mix thoroughly. Put the pan on a stove top, turn stove on to medium heat, and stir to melt the gelatin and sugar together. Just before boiling, turn off the stove top and remove the pan. Separate the mix equally into three bowls. For the color purple, first add one drop of blue food color into a bowl and mix. After it's been mixed, add one drop of red food color and mix to make purple. For the light blue, add one drop of blue food color into another bowl and mix. For the dark blue, add four drops of blue food color into the last bowl and mix. After you're done, wait about 10 minutes to let the gelatin mix get to room temperature. Remove the yokohan container from the freezer. Add about two spoonfuls of the light blue gelatin on top of the milk gelatin. Try not to let it go over to the yokohan portion. Add one spoonful of the purple lengthwise in the middle of the container, about one-fifth the container size. Add about two spoonfuls of the dark blue on the bottom portion closest to you to cover the remaining space. After you're done, put the container in the freezer uncovered for 10 minutes. You'll repeat adding the colored gelatin and freezing three more times. Note, after you add the fourth layer, you'll be adding the sprinkles on it first before you put it in the freezer again. Add a bit of the sprinkles here and there on top of the gelatin. After you're done, put the container in the freezer uncovered for 10 minutes. 
remove the container from the freezer. Next, I'll be adding the top clear layer of gelatin. For this step, I'll be adding the bowl of gelatin I made at the beginning. By now, the gelatin has set, so to liquefy it, I put it in the microwave for 8 seconds. You can do this for any of the steps if the gelatin has set or started to solidify. After you're done, put the container in the freezer uncovered for 10 minutes. Remove the container from the freezer. Lift the saran wrap to remove the yokon completely from the container. Put the yokon onto a cutting board. Use a sharp knife to cut off the rough edges. Cut the yokon into four equal parts. Place the yokon on a serving dish and you're all done. You can decorate it to resemble the game like I did by using a wagashi plate, cherry blossoms, and serve it with a cup of green tea. It looks too pretty to eat, but I must as it would be a shame not to eat a valentine chocolate from Okita J Soji as the story goes in fake grand order. It's easy to cut into with a fork. Look at those colors. You can see the clear layer of gelatin, the darker blue layer of gelatin, and the beautiful chocolate yokon with the yellow milk middle. All of which has a nice shine to it when it's held up to the light. Being visually pleasing is an important part of dining. Itadakimasu! Very delicious. It's not too sweet actually, which I did not anticipate with all the chocolate, sugar, and red bean paste we used. This is great for a person like me who does not like overly sweet foods but still wants to eat something sweet when I'm craving it. The gelatin is a nice contrast to the thick yokon layer. Although we added gelatin to everything, it's still soft to chew but retains its shape which gives a great mouthfeel. I can keep eating it and not get tired of it. Drinking the slightly bitter green tea gives your tongue a nice break in between bites and enhances each bite of the yokon after. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning, this is the reason why I made my own recipe after following the official recipe. Everything turned into a goopy mess. The problem was the amount of gelatin in the recipe. While 5 grams of powdered gelatin is fine for powdered gelatin in Japan, the gelatin I used in that portion size, Nox, was not enough. This is why in my recipe I used 4 times the amount of gelatin in each portion of the recipe, which was 20 grams versus 5 grams. Who knew it was so different for powdered gelatin? The crushed jelly did come out nice though and gives off a nice outer space look to it. Maybe I'll remake the recipe but with 20 grams of gelatin versus 5 grams. Look forward to it. Until next time, see ya!